investing in Kyoto real estate is not just property itself. You actually have the privilege to own a piece of history. Hi, my name is Yong Chai. Right? I did economics at Osaka University. Right? Four of us started um, this uh, service accommodation uh, business in the heart of Kyoto. Consisting of restored uh, Kyoto townhouses, or machias as they're called in uh, Japan. Right? The first two buildings that we invested in are over 100 years old. Uh, they have seen many people. They have had the experience of many people living in them. Kyoto was one of the places right, uh, in Japan that was spared the bombings in the Second World War. So many parts of Kyoto are very well preserved, rather. This is the heritage that uh, we have a privilege of being a part of now as owners of real estate in Kyoto. And this is the part that really appealed to me. If we want to do something, we have to do it well. And I suppose uh, it wouldn't be a stretch to say that um, the Japanese craftsmen that we work with uh, brought this to the extreme, right, in seeking that perfection uh, previous uh, renovation slash refurbishment that was done uh, probably in the 70s or 80s. They actually drilled away at the timber beam uh, to create a space for the gas pipe to go through. And then we said, okay, we need to do something about that. So the craftsmen actually uh, not only carved out a piece of wood for the entire length of that beam, right, that could fit in just like a Jenga block, they actually sanded it down and re varnished the entire beam such that it looked like one perfect beam again, right? And uh, to top it all off, it's actually hidden by a false uh, wall today. Uh, Japan has a very onerous uh, taxation system. There are many uh, instances uh, where the beneficiaries will have to end up uh, you know, demolishing old buildings right, because they had to raise funds to pay the inheritance taxes. Uh, we thought that it would be very meaningful for us as uh, students uh, of Japan to pitch in with our own resources to play a part in preserving this heritage, uh, not just for Japan, but for you know, the rest of the world right, to continue to come to appreciate and also enjoy. Given that uh, foreign travel is uh, virtually non-existent, we have also uh, worked hard to pivot towards other sources of demand, uh, uh, and that uh, took the shape of uh, you know, focusing on uh, a monthly leasing model. And hopefully in the second half of the year when vaccination programs are ramped up further and gain traction, there will be a bit more confidence right, as well as um, natural flows uh, from both domestic and foreign uh, tourists and uh, hopefully then uh, we will finally see light at the end of the tunnel.